Hey guys, in this video we're going to be building a super bright LED floodlight for photography. Let's get started. I found a camera tripod in the yard. I figured this would be a pretty good base to start things off. I then used a PVC coupler along with a length of half inch PVC pipe to build a tower. I used a half inch T fitting along with a 3 4 inch one to access the pivot point. This end goes on top of the pole. Now for the electronics. This is a 1200 watt boost converter and this is what we're going to be driving the light with. This takes a low voltage and turns it into a high voltage which the light needs. For the light itself, we're actually going to be using an LED, and this is a 100 watt cob chip, and it needs a giant heat sink. For the heat sink, I use a liberal amount of thermal grease, and I put the LED right on it and mush it down into it. You can see that the heat sink is massive compared to the LED. The LED will be mounted on the top of the pool, and the boost converter will be on the bottom near the base. And we only need a really thin wire to connect them, because first of all, this is only 100 watts, and this wire will be only carrying 2 amps, because this thing runs at 42 volts. Now you could use anything for the power supply, as the boost converter will take almost any voltage, but I'm going to be using this 12 volt lead acid battery because it's cheap and effective. Now I'll have this case mounted on the bottom, and it will contain the battery and the buck converter, and then the wire will go up to the top and it will be connected to the heat sink where the light is. So now I've got both the battery and the boost converter in the bwa- The bwag. In the bwag. I got the battery in the bwag. And now it's time to test out to see if we can turn on the light. We've got power. Oh, that is really bright. Let me turn down the brightness. That's the dimmest I can go. <laughs> it's still super bright. This board also has another great feature. As you can see, these all these potentiometers here. These control the voltage input, the voltage output, the voltage cutoff, all sorts of cool things. And that means we can control the brightness of this and how much power it uses. We're now going to take the heat sink and our little PVC part that's going to go in the top and I'm going to screw this one to the heat sink so we can mount the light. There we are, it's thoroughly bolted on and we're going to put it on the tripod and we're going to see if it'll work. There we go, it's mounted. Now we're going to mount the battery pack right here. There we are and all that's left now is to get this little orange wire up through the tube and to the light. Here we are, it's finished. We've got the bag of, with the batteries and the converter. Then we've got the wire going up the pole to the light. And that is mounted on a really big heat sink. All we gotta do now is wait for night and we'll test it out in the dark. So we're outside right now and the light is on. And as you can see, it is illuminating a huge amount of the front yard. It looks a lot brighter in person. Let me see if I can adjust the ISO so you guys can see what it really looks like. Yeah, it looks a lot brighter in real life. I don't think I can adjust it that much. It's about three to four times as bright as what you're seeing right now. I mean, this thing is seriously bright. Here's looking right at it. Obviously, it's all white. To show you how much power this thing is putting out, I'm going to put a leaf in front of it. There's a leaf, and let's see if it will do anything. Holy shit. Oh my god, it, it's smoking. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but the leaf I have in front of it is smoking. Yeah, you guys can't see that. Well, just take my word for it. Okay, let's get ourselves a thumbnail. There's our thumbnail. So this thing should run for about an hour since I have a 7 amp hour lead acid battery on it. The heat sink is doing pretty well. I wanted to tell you guys about a YouTube alternative called LBRY. I have a channel on there which has many of my other videos that have gotten deleted by YouTube. And the link will be in the description so go check that out if you want to. Thanks guys for watching. Please like and subscribe.